Example of vertically opposite angles. In the figure below, AB, CD and EF intersect at point O. The sum of angles A and B is 100 degrees. The measure of the angle AOD is how many degrees? So here in this question, we have to find the measure of this angle AOD. Let's look at the approach we need to follow for solving this question. We need to find angle AOD. Let's see what all things we should find for arriving at the answer. We have been given the sum of A and B as 100 degrees, but we do not know their individual values. Can we think of a relationship where sum of A and B are involved? This leads us to line EF, where sum of A, angle BOC and B should be 180 degrees. From this relation, very easily, we can find the value of angle BOC. Now, is there any relationship between angle BOC and angle AOD? Yes, they are vertically opposite angles. And we know vertically opposite angles are equal. Here, it is given that angle measures A plus B is equal to 100. From the figure, it is clear that angle EOC plus angle COB plus angle BOF is equal to 180 degrees. This implies regrouping these terms we will have angle COB plus angle EOC plus angle BOF is equal to 180 degrees. This implies that angle COB plus in place of angle EOC we can write A plus in place of angle BOF we can write B is equal to 180 degrees. So this implies angle COB plus A plus B is given to be 100 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So this implies measure of angle COB is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees. So this implies angle COB is equal to 80 degrees. So here we've calculated the measure of this angle as 80 degrees. Angle AOD and angle COB, that means this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angles and we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So this implies angle AOD is equal to angle COB. This implies angle AOD is equal to, we found out the value of angle COB as 80 degrees. So angle AOD is 80 degrees. So here, making use of property of vertically opposite angles, we found out the value of angle AOD as 80 degrees.